We are doing another clean out my closet because it's been just over a year since I filmed that video. I think I don't realize how much stuff I really have until I start going through it again. Throw out, so I've already got a charity bag. I am going through this weird phase where I wanna put something new to put my shoes on. Let me show you what the closet looks like now and then I'll show you what I'm thinking of doing. Look at how much it's overflowing at the top. It's really becoming a problem. This side's not too bad. It's still kind of neat and, and tidy. I haven't vacuumed in here at all. My shoes, I've collected more shoes over the past few months. There's a lot happening here. This is also, it's overflowing and I want to reorganize the color scheme. Everything is in, in color order. So I've got like blacks, reds, yellows, so on and so forth. But I want to change this around. I also want to look at those blankets and see what I can possibly give to charity or to a dog shelter because there is a dog shelter near me. So I'm thinking I need to do that. Also, I want to do something with my DVDs. I don't like that they're just in the closet because I can't reach them and I do want to watch them. But at the same time, I have nowhere else to put them. We are also going to be going through my jeans and shorts and skirts because there are some things in here that I know I'm never going to wear again and all don't fit me anymore. Possibly also go, oh, see what I mean? See what I mean? I did say that I am thinking of doing something for my closet to put into my closet for my shoes to sit on. This used to be in my closet where I used to put all of my shoes on, but I then moved it out here and then it had all of my DVDs on it. And now all my DVDs are in the closet because I didn't want them out because it made everything look cluttered. And then obviously I redecorated it and I've put all this stuff on there. And you know, we've got my graduation stuff, Scully, who's my part-time boyfriend, cause he's just here, a few other things, but I kind of want to put this back in my closet and then maybe get something else for this corner like a cabinet or something. Also, I'm not gonna lie to you, I have not cleaned this window in probably over a year and it needs cleaning. There's like marks and fingerprints. One night I woke up and I saw a perfect handprint and I freaked out because I'm like, there's something in my room, there's someone in my room, there is a ghost that can is able to touch things. And then in my mind, I was like, no, most likely I probably did that. The way my mind just works, it just decides, okay, some scary thoughts, <laughs> throw them in there. Let's just start. Tell me you have a boot obsession without telling me you have a boot obsession. Whatever. There's a lot. <laughs> the amount of clothes that I have is ridiculous. And then I can still never find anything to wear. And then I've got blankets that I need to sort out. Cases of, so that's makeup. That's, I don't even think there's anything in there. Poker set, airbrush. It's just crazy. And then half of the DVDs, another half of the DVDs, all of my shoes, as well as this bag that I need to sort out the drawers that I need to go through. I've emptied just the one and then this, just a whole lot of DVDs that I need to go through and really hone in on what I'm keeping, what I'm not and find a place for all of this stuff. And then a basket of clothing that needs to be washed, but that's for tomorrow, that's wash day. 
but I need to go through all of these. Um, So I need to empty that and put it in the, in the wardrobe. So let's start with do, just doing the top area. I left my tennis racket because I didn't see the point of me taking it out when it's just going to stay there. But let's start with the top and try and get everything neatly in there, jig around. I might even put my, I might even put my bags on this side. I don't know. Bags. We'll start with bags. the shoes back and go from there. Putting the shoes back, but I realized I just actually need to go through the shoes and get rid of shoes. So I'm gonna take a pause on this. I'm keeping all of those, so they're not going anywhere. So I'm gonna sit down and go through all of my shoes and decide whether I like them or not. And then once I've done that, then I'll put them back <laughs> and then we'll start with the clothes. <laughs> Let's go through my shoes. I do three piles. One for the shoes that I'm keeping, one for the shoes that I'm unsure about, and one for the shoes that I'm definitely get, getting rid of. Because even like these, I've had these for a very long time. They were my heel dancing shoes. And I'm never going to wear them again. But I'm, I'm like attached to them because of the, the things that I did with them. But then at the same time, I'm never going to wear them again. And I know that somebody else might. So I'm making the executive decision that these are going in the goodbye pile which will be behind me I've worn these I like them but awful to actually wear but I've never actually worn them out and it's not warm enough to wear them and also I don't know how I feel about this type of heel also I don't really have anything to wear them with so they're going in the unsure pile Okay, that's a start. I'll do these first. I'll put these away and then we'll start on the bootis. The boots. I don't regret moving this thing in here. I got to put all of my favorite boots together and I got to put all of my heels together, my essential shoes that I that I would generally just grab and go um, together. This is probably gonna change a little bit. I might need to like move stuff around, but it's pretty much solid and it looks so much neater now that I've actually decluttered a little bit. Now let's go through the clothing. I'm gonna have one pile that I'm getting rid of, 100%. A second pile that I need to try on, see if it still fits me. And then a third pile that is 100%. Actually, the third pile I'm just going to plonk right back in here because it just makes a little bit things a little bit easier just to deal with and organize. And then we're going to do my drawers. Now, also, I can get rid of this ugly thing.
we are at the home stretch, I just have a few clothes to try on, see whether I still want them or not. And then I've got a few other things to go at the top and then I'll show you a, a final look. I always love cleaning up my closet. I, it always gives me pleasure and I always feel renewed. When I started doing this, I didn't think I would have this many clothes and shoes that I was gonna give away. But I'm so proud because now that I know my body type and the type of clothing that I wanna wear and the type of clothing that I like, this makes a lot of sense as to how much I've actually gotten rid of. I need a second bag. <laughs> if I really wanted, and I am considering it, I wanna get a bar trolley for this corner. I think that would look kind of cute, although it's really unnecessary for me to have a bar trolley when I don't really drink. I might just put a plant there, to be honest, or plants. Um, but anyway, let me show you what my closet looks like currently. I didn't do much with my DVDs and stuff, they're still at the back, but my vacuum cleaner is much better placed. That's just a folder with all stuff on it, in it. And then down here, I can never reach my bags. I always want my bags to be as close as possible, but they never are, and I didn't have enough space to put them anywhere. But now, since I've put my gym wear in my other wardrobe, these can now sit here, and I don't know why I didn't this, do this in the first place. This is my favorite bag, so of course it's gonna be at the front, but the other ones are there at the back, sitting, waiting to be used. And then I sort of went through these. I definitely went through my pajama drawer because it was, I had a lot of pajamas. Um, kinda need to go through my socks and everything, bralettes, but overall, and I gave this a wipe because it was overdue. I also gave the doors a wipe, and I actually finally cleaned the window, so now I'm not going to wake up in the middle of the night thinking there's a ghost in here because of the handprint. Okay, now for this side. I am very prone to wearing all my black clothing all the time and white clothing. And I'm really trying to get more into my coloured clothing, my pastel, pastels, um, my yellows, my greens, everything. I just want to be more colourful. I thought, why don't I put all of my brightly coloured clothing in my view? So I'm more inclined to go in for this sort of stuff rather than just automatically go for my black stuff. I might move my white clothing on this side, but currently this is the vibe I was going for. I wanted everything to be in color order. I like everything to have a color coordination. It just, it makes me feel better. Now, if I can only color coordinate these, which I might still do. And then down here, definitely have made space for some new shoes <laughs> that probably will come along, but I am sort of in love with this situation. My two brown pairs of shoes together, I could actually put my black ones all together because these have brown with on the, within them and on the heel, so they could technically go down there. And then, you can't really see, but all the shoes are up there as well. That's the thing about this situation is I can't see all the shoes that I have, but it doesn't matter. It's definitely much neater. I've put my jackets there that are my winter coats. Um, hats, this still needs sort of I'm not gonna lie to you, it's, it's an awkward place to have stuff, but definitely got rid of some of my blankets. I've already got a bag ready for a dog shelter. Um, gowns up there as well, because I don't always, gowns up there as well, because I don't always need them. DVDs, I think if my DVDs were not in here, this would be a lot easier to get to, but every time I clean it out, it gets smaller and smaller, and I get rid of stuff, so I am very much happy. Black jeans, as well as brown, because you know, black and brown, might as well put them together. Blue, blue, je uh, blue jeans, blue shorts, black shorts with coloured um, skirts, and then I put my gym wear in here, because what was the point of it being on the other side? And now it's just for this stuff, which I think I'm going to do without filming, because there's no, point in me in, there's no point in me filming that. But yes, this is now, has a gap, this is all the stuff that needs to go to the charity store, and this need to get chucked away. These are going to a friend of mine. Definitely feel like I've made progress today. Makes me happy, makes me feel good inside, and now I can relax. So thanks guys for sticking around watching me clean up my closet again. Have a lovely day and I shall see you in the next one. Bye guys.